morning my beautiful gym day today but I had to pop in and tell you about something so I don't forget during this vlog because I just got an email so Teddy Blake New York handbags are having two March sales this year so the first one is Women's Day sale and you'll be up to 70% off and that sale, write it down, will be between March the 8th till March the 13th. And then they are going to do another sale, which is called Spring Sale, uh, between 15th and 25th of March. So this is all happening <clears throat> uh, this, this month. Okay, so because spring is coming, I can't wait to start wearing more color. You know, I, I wear very neutral colors in the winter but in the summer i really like more colorful things of just adding pops of color so i show you the handbags that i'm going to be wearing so do you remember this one is my latest one but because i got it in november last november i only i think used it once because again in the winter i wear more beige black handbags uh, so this is um ava nine inches beautiful it's a beautiful fuchsia colors i cannot guarantee that this color is still available but they do each bag in all sorts of beautiful colors and um you can get it in a croc leather as well in smooth leather so they are all different but this is nine inches because they come also in 11 inches which i have as well they slightly bigger and 14 inches i i think and i think i've seen now they do the micro ones like six inches so i can't wait to wear this one because this pink is so my pink is a cool pink you know and this is grainy leather as you can see now this one this i've worn so much last spring and summer because i have also orange um, nice little kitten heels that go with it so this is bella this is nine inches as well different style can you see this is smooth leather they are also so beautiful inside they have um i think it's suede yeah Bella is a bit more difficult to get into but if you undo these sides then it's fine so like that because it's easy access this one you just leave those and um, I prefer the Ava to Kim because I also have Kim and Kim is very similar but the closure is a bit different so you have to put the flap down and then it has holes in a strap and you have to turn it so this is much easier I'm very much about practicality as much as the aesthetics and this I would say is my favorite for many reasons so this is Lola this is 10 inches so if you compare it's a bit bigger and this was called fuchsia but this is not fuchsia to me this is like a beetrooty light beetroot raspberry color you can see the difference but why I love it is again the accessibility and it's huge inside of course they all come with with a strap so I really really love Bella this one is a bit bigger this one I like carrying like this I have a link and a and a discount code but I think this discount code is like my permanent discount code so and it's always in the description box but um, I think that my discount code is only of full price items not sale items because obviously you're already getting so much discount so that's 
all I wanted to tell you because I'm going to the gym in a minute but I thought otherwise I will forget I will see you later hello my lovely so I've dropped Louis off about half an hour ago oh so I didn't have to take him first thing in the morning because I've told them that he's very nervous if I could bring him I won't give him nothing to eat if I could bring him just before his procedure is due and they said yeah that's absolutely fine so um I took him there and um had to sign the consent form he was trembling they took him in and the nurse just called me she said they ran his blood and his blood's all good his blood is his blood test was fine and she said we're just giving him a pre-med to make him drowsy and he's gonna go in and then I'm just waiting they could, once he's under and they've checked his teeth and everything they are going to call me to let me know if he needs any more teeth out or what he needs done so they were they are so lovely honestly I'm so grateful that I found them so yes, um, and I'm like having kittens, so beside myself. So I've decided that I might make chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> I have never made them. I'm not a baker. I'm not very good at baking. Um, but Max is coming for lunch today, so, and he loves them. I can't make too many because Paul loves them too. Well, I like them, but I'm not obsessed with eating sweets, Paul is. So I mustn't make too many. Um, but I have all the ingredients because I bought, bought it ages ago. I remember Paul bought some cookies at some point and I thought, oh, they're so lovely. Maybe I should learn how to make them. So I've got some um, recipes on YouTube. I'm going to have a look and um, I might have a go at chocolate chip cookies. And when Louis is back from his procedure, I will come back and let you know how he is. Okay, I've made my cookies. They are enormous. <laughs> so, um, the lady that was making them on YouTube channel had an ice, ice cream scoop to measure them out. Uh, but I didn't have an ice cube. I have an ice cube scoop, but um, not the traditional one that comes with like a cutter. You know what I mean, round one. I've got one. Oh, hang on. I've washed it up. It's here like this and so I couldn't measure it properly so I just scooped it and in the end because I couldn't make a perfect bowl I did it with my hands and of course they spread out when they cook and they are enormous so I know for the next time this is my first time of making them to make them much smaller so I have 10 cookies I probably could have had 20 if I did them much smaller uh, the vet has called me, uh, Louis has to have two more teeth removed, um, so basically one at the back was so, so plucked up that he went down into his gum, into his root, and then he has got one at the top here that is wobbly. So, so far just two teeth to be removed, they've cleaned them, and also she noticed that he had like a lump growing on his canine on a gum so she said she will shall she remove that one and send it with the other lamp to be tested and I said yeah just do it she said we're not charging any more for that because it's one lab test so um, so she called me when she did just one side of his teeth so now they're doing the other so hopefully he'll be back soon um let me show you my cookies so here they are they massive <laughs> so i made them with uh, chocolate chip and and chopped hazelnuts i will leave you the recipe well the recipe did it with um different nuts uh, with walnuts i did it with hazelnuts i really like hazelnuts so i suppose you can put any nuts in that you like and I already had like a bag of chopped hazelnuts um, 
so yeah they're looking good but they're huge so i'm just cooling them down max was too late um when he came for lunch i was only just mixing it and he had to go back to work so he's gonna have some tomorrow um but yeah he, he said to me why don't you bring them to work for me because <laughs> he doesn't work far away from here but um no he can have it tomorrow Yes, so I'm really proud of myself. I've made my first chocolate chip cookies. Another thing is I don't have the proper butter mixer, you know, that electric butter mixer, because I never bake really. I had like a handheld silly device that I had to mix it with, but it went pretty smoothly. I will let you know later on or tomorrow if they taste it okay. We just picked up my baby. He's quite bright actually. Oh, okay, tell him, stay there, stay there, stay there. He's much brighter than he was last time, um, but he's very panty. So we're gonna take him home and make him comfortable. Hello, my lovelies. I am waiting to go to the hairdressers. So yeah, I'm having my hair done today and I think I'm going to chop quite a lot off because look at it, it's so thin. I mean, the sides are always thin anyway. I've noticed that underneath here, my hair is like breaking off because it's so thin and I style it so much. So uh, let me update you on Louis. I'm sorry that this vlog is all about Louis. I hope you don't mind, but you know, that's my life. That's been my whole week. So you saw me in a car when we picked him up. Oh, bless him. His tongue was hanging out and he was panting so bad, but he soon come down at home. Um, he was bleeding a bit and he was, you know, he, he was just sleeping. He was very disorientated. Um, but when I went to pick him up, I paid first. It was actually a bit less than the estimate, which was good. I told you they had to, uh, they had to remove two more teeth. She called me again. Uh, she said one at the back. She said it's not even a question mark. She said it's wobbly and the bone is detached from the root and all this. And um, I don't know if I told you they found another little lump on his top gum. So they removed all that and I'm waiting for the results. And then the nurse came out um, to talk to me. You see, I, that has never happened um, last time when he had his teeth done. They just brought him out, I paid and off I went. But she came out, sat down with me. She brought out painkillers for him and which he didn't get the first time and antibiotic as well just to make sure you know that he doesn't get any infection uh, she had pictures so they've taken photos of his teeth while they were doing them so i could see before and after and um oh and before we picked him up i got a text message from them and that was just after louis woken up so look there is a picture of him and he said here hello just to let you know that i'm awake and doing well after my procedure one of the team will be in touch shortly to let you know when i can come home love louis wasn't that lovely touch so yeah he was fantastic he is doing really well i was a bit worried on the day that we picked him up just two days ago because I didn't vlog yesterday um, because he wouldn't obviously eat and that's understandable but he wouldn't drink and I was so worried that he will get dehydrated um, but we always have a bowl of water for him upstairs as well and thankfully in the morning when we got up we saw that he's drank a lot of water in the night so that was good and then he's fine he's absolutely fine his tongue is not hanging out anymore um i have to give him just soft food for for 10 days and obviously antibiotics and all that and he's doing wonderfully so next monday i am taking him for a checkup and and that's it so yes i was really really pleased and and really happy with them the way they dealt with him and and us it was really really good so 
like I said before, I am so, so grateful that I found these people. And let's hope they stay like this. Well, let's hope that I don't need to take Louis to the vet for a very long time again. Oh, they also cut his nails when he was um, asleep. So, yeah, so it's all good. I'm feeling much happier and more relaxed. You know, one less thing to worry about. Oh, um, another thing. Oh, uh, so far, a gate update. So, we have new sofas now. So what happened, I think the last time I told you, uh, we got our money back from one of the cards. So then what we did, we thought, fine, so we've got the money back. They will probably now contact us and come and pick those sofas up. So we thought, what are we going to do? We need to go and order new sofas because you have to wait a few weeks before they arrived. So we did that. And of course, then they took the money back from us again because the sofa company came back with some uh, ridiculous um, excuse. And um, we were like in a limbo. So this new sofas arrived. So the, the, the first sofa set of sofas is in a storage now, which costs us money. And we had to raise this section, I can't remember if it's 75, 55, I don't know, some section. And um, yeah, there is just one week for it. So Post has spoken to them and hopefully we get our money back and they take these bloody sofas away. So um, we bought the sofas that we have now are exactly the same like our old ones, the chocolate brown ones, but cream color so it's a bit lighter than the ones we won't get rid of um, I really like the other color that top color these ones I think I can insert little video here of, of them but yeah we are really happy now just want our money back and those other sofas gone so yeah that's the latest on sofas Okay, I'm gonna go. What time is it? Yeah, I'm gonna go. I've got, um, I have to park like in a side street because there is no car park for, for that salon. So I have to walk about five minutes. I will see you after. I'm coming, I'm coming in a minute. Just making myself a cup of coffee. I'll be with you in a second. Hello my lovelies, <laughs> so here is my new hair, how do you like it? I really like it, so I had about that much chopped off, so the front, just very front here is probably the same length, but look at the back, it feels so much thicker and healthier because my hair got so long, the ends were so thin and see-through. Even this looks a bit thicker now, doesn't it? Yes, yeah, so I'm very happy. Beautiful blonde colour. I might just keep it to, to that um, shape. So, just in case you want to know um, what haircut I've got, it's basically a bob. It's very, very slightly angled. I don't know if you can see it, very slightly. And the back is a bit layered, just like from here to, to the bottom, because of my flat head. <laughs> anyway, um, I've got something exciting to show you. So I received today, sorry, yesterday, these uh, three new brushes from Refa and I had no info about it I was like what are they anyway so I emailed them to ask about them and what it is these are the first synthetic brushes so you know all the Refa brushes the core collections are um, natural bristle brushes and they are the best for powder products and apparently Existing customers 
uh, kept saying that they really want brushes for cream products, you know, like cream bronzers, cream blushes, um, cream eyeshadows. And for those, for cream products, synthetic brushes are the best. So uh, they said that they've been working for a long time to bring us the best synthetic brushes. And I tell you something, when I read that these are synthetic, I almost fell off the chair because they feel like natural bristles. I would never know that this was synthetic brush. So uh, you've got BO1, which is a concealer brush. I don't really like using concealer brush brushes. I use a sponge, but I'm gonna try this one because it feels so nice. Then you have a BO2 foundation brush. Love that, slightly angled, and I like it that it's that small. I don't really like big heads on on foundation brushes. Well, I do, but because now I'm trying to av avoid as much as possible this area, not to put foundation on, I need a smaller brush because with a big brush, you just can't help it. You put a bit of foundation there. And then BO3, which will be for your cream eyeshadow. So very exciting, but, so what do you do? These brushes, so you know what uh, Refa does, um, they bring out new brushes or new brush and they put it first in a concept store. And concept store, you can buy it an, uh, at a huge discount. All they ask from you is that you give them feedback within 60 days. So that's how they bring their stuff to the market. They, they really work with the customers. If customers say no, if most customers say no, this brush is useless, don't like it, they won't bring it to the market. So for now, this set is sold as a set, is in a concept store. So I leave you the link to the website and when you get to the website at the top, there will be shop, concept store, and something else. Click on a concept store and they will be in there. And they are so heavily discounted. So let me just tell you, did I? Oh, I've written it here. So right now, this set is £31.68 instead of £62, which is, um, which in dollars is about $36, I think. So £31.36 for the three brushes. So yes, go and check out the concept store. Of course, I will soon use them um, on camera to see how I like them. But yeah, take advantage of that. It's like 50% off for £31 for three brushes. It's amazing. I'm loving my hair. It's just so bouncy. <laughs> Okay, um, I've been reading your comments on um, that video that I did, uh, anti-aging is so exhausting. And to be honest, I was very apprehensive to put that video out because, you know, people like judging, but I must say the response was really good and, and it made me laugh with your stories and um, how you feel about it very interesting very mixed bag but yes most of you would have taken the pill also the comments after my last Monday video when I talked about the brass oh my goodness some of you really cracked me up <laughs> talking about your sagging boobs <laughs> so that was so much fun the only thing I wanted to say there is you know when I said in this video I don't like the word anti-aging that we should use it more pro-aging or aging well. There is another word that I don't like and I forgot to mention that, but uh, it appeared a lot in the comments, is aging gracefully. I absolutely hate that word because what that implies that if you don't do anything to your skin, you don't wear makeup, you don't have any procedures, you are aging gracefully. The rest of us that do anything to our faces, using skincare, using 
using devices or having Botox or fillers that we are aging disgracefully. And I don't understand what's disgraceful about that. If I was maybe running around the streets with my boobs out, that could be called disgraceful. But um, not looking after yourself. I think you should use the word aging naturally, maybe. That is probably more appropriate. That, that word always really, really annoyed me, aging gracefully. What does that even mean? That means that I'm a disgraceful woman for the things that I've done to my face, the fillers, the Botox, using devices. So yes, don't like that word. But if you want to use it, use it. Sorry, I've just written down here what I wanted to talk to you about. Right, Debbie. Debbie left me, left me a comment saying that she was doing um, digging into her family tree and she said that um, I think it was her granddad um, was Polish and she spelled his surname for me and she didn't know how to pronounce in Polish the letter J. And it's very difficult to explain by typing. So I said to her, if I remember, I will say it in this video. So the letter J in Polish is pronounced Y. So his surname, I will put it on a, um, on a screen. How you pronounce this surname is Smykaj. So the Y is um, at the end. A bit like Y, I suppose, but... Obviously, the Y doesn't sound like a Y in every English word. Yes, but you pronounce it Y. Y. <laughs> so that's the letter J. Shall we do every Monday vlog Polish word of the day? I teach you Polish words. <laughs> Polish is such a difficult language to pronounce and the grammar is really difficult. It makes me laugh when people say that English is difficult. English is not difficult. For example, um, my real name is not Nisha. I made it into Nisha because when I first came to England, which was 30 odd years ago, um, and that was before Poland was even in European Union, so there wasn't that many Polish people here. Uh, and maybe people were not familiar with pronouncing um, Polish words, no one could ever remember my name. And my name is Agnieszka. Um, we then sort of shortened it to Agnieszka and then Nisha. So that's how I became Nisha and I'm known by everybody as Nisha. Um, the only person that calls me my, my real name is my mum and my brother. And my maiden name, my surname, is Ciotuszynska. So imagine someone trying to pronounce that, Agnieszka Ciotuszynska. So what um, Polish name of the day we should learn today? Lipstick. So lipstick in Polish is Szminka. I will put it on a screen how you spell it, Schminka. So this is your lesson for the week. Remember word Schminka. So that's your Polish for lipstick. Okay, I think I will finish this vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry again that so much of it was about Louis, but like I said, it's my life. Louis is absolutely fine. He wants to play, but he can't really. We're not allowed to pull any toys with him, but he's absolutely fine. His breath doesn't smell at all. This is like, you cannot believe it. His breath stank so much. So he is doing really well. I'm going for a checkup with him in a couple of days. Uh, thank you so much for all your well wishes for him. Yes, so it was a bit much about Louis, wasn't it? Anyway. <coughs> oh my God, I've just choked on my own saliva. <coughs> um, 
So, uh, have a wonderful week. Thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous. Bye.